my dudes and my of the team and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. I almost said Fire Emblem for some random reason. I haven't actually played or recorded a Fire Emblem episode in quite a while. Anyways, uh, in this, in the last episode, we did all of our Bond episodes uh, because we had a bunch of them to do because the entirety of Yuito Platoon is now with us, so yeah. Uh, in this episode, we're going to move on, I think, to phase... Uh, 10 because I don't think there's much else we can do except for go grind for items that you don't want to do Everyone major general Fubuki is up seems like he's all fine says he's ready to talk Conclusion in an accidental meeting Yuito and I are working together now the injured and conscious Fubuki wakes up They'll share information they have discussing on a way to move forward. I see I get the basic idea the expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right, you're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Fubuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone, there's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagero, right? We should listen. No. Kagero killed Yuito's dad? I don't want to believe it. There is much I want to say, but perhaps we should follow him. I worry about leaving them alone. So they want to believe that Kasane That's did why it? I told all of you. We should go to Kikuchiba too. Actually, the fact that they just so kind of readily kept trusting Kasane. Interesting. Okay, since they didn't, didn't automatically do that, uh, we'll, I'm going to go through the mid-level shopping district first before we get to the construction site because I want to see if I can possibly uh, be able to take down some of the vase paws and get be able to make a couple more plugins because that could be nice because I need to get two more in order to fill out both Sugumi and Hanabi's kits which are the two people who are with me of course I didn't actually do that that's just completely happenstance dude so I just now see that the flashing green over there on that fence it has never done that before Never even while coming here with with Lucas powers. Let's have some fun. I've got a nearby resource reading. Huh. 
It wasn't even all that worth it, but it's so frustrating I'll leave it to because you. Ugh, it's always been something that's bugged me. And literally never shown green, I swear. I swear it. Alright, now we're moving on. To the actual place we're supposed to be. Considering the situation at the scene, I thought Kagaru may be responsible. Whether it was Kasane or Kagaru, the fact that the perpetrator was in the Alyssa will be even harder on you, Ito. It's over. To you, I can do my best. Let's keep I feel the same way. Took all the good shots, Kasane. Oh, too slow. Looks like we can't go any further. Nothing to open or destroy. Let's find a different path. Wait, it is too early to give up. We might be able to get to the other side using my power. Please give it a try, Kasane. That never happened either. I figured that that's how you had to get over here, because there's literally no pathway to get over here. I didn't even suggest that, and for some reason I never actually thought of trying it with the, with when on Yuzo's path. And it's a fight. Cool. We ended up finding an extra battle, which we absolutely annihilated for a light jelly. Totally worth. There is something over here, though. Nailed it. <laughs> I don't know if that was sarcasm or if she's supposed to say that when you actually make the jump. Because for some reason, Kasani didn't do the didn't do the double jump. She just jumped once and, f and fell. An oil proof coating. Not really all that worth it. I'll leave it to you. At least I figured out what was over here, though. That seems like an early game area for. If Yui learns the truth, he won't try to kill Kagura, will he? Let's hurry and catch up to them. That reminds me, you graduated at the top of your training class too, she did. There were rumors of an amazing rookie at the time. I was ready to put down a platoon, though. They had me doing all kinds of weird work that didn't let me show my true potential. No, so you made it through that platoon. Useless. It's over. You get points just for that. I can see how much ability you have when we fight together. Of course. You know the true way to look at things. You're the most ethical of all the weirdos in the OSF. It may appear to be a dead end at first glance. I, I think help. we can make it to the other side with my power. God damn it. This is another one of those times where Luca doesn't say that in Yuito's path. I have been here so many times. Oh my gosh. Oh, great. Well done, Kasane. Keep that up. Whoa. Let's have some fun. If we use duplication correctly, Kasane, SAS. Lend me your power. I'm off. I didn't need to use heavy velocity. That's fine. The enemy shell is broken, Kasane. Now's the time to attack. Not yet. It may appear to be a dead end at first glance. Shut up, Luca. We already did it. To the other side with my power. 
I think now is the time to use it, indeed. Okay, that's it. Nice. Probably gonna beat him by hand, but I didn't really want to. Big Blue Thomas. There's still more enemies. I can use this. Good job taking the initiative. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. It's down. Let's finish it. Yeah, this is like an early game area for Yui to the side, because the fact that they're giving me all these freaking light jellies. <laughs> okay. Cutscene time. Yuito, Kagero. Did we interrupt you? Kagero, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. 
At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. Not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. Alright, we're gonna go to Togetsu. I'm actually glad we don't have to go all the way back through Hiena Mountain, because we had to do that on Yuito's path. 
I think they might have added a couple more uh, teleportation zones for Togetsu with one of the updates. But we still have to fight a boss. Alright, is it going to be the ice hole again? No boss. I will take that. I 100% expected us to have to fight the ice hole again. Now this is where the ice hole was. I think we will have to fight it. <gasps> yes. I'm so glad we have to fight it again. We're almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? Never mind, I think I lied. Is shaking. Or it's similar to the big earthquake at Kunat Highway. I'm just gonna shut up. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunat Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage. To Hino Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunad Gate. H hey, Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain, too. What? You were a dud? Oh, right. I didn't tell you guys yet. You became a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden, but there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Okay. Anyway... We should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. Time to turn invisible! You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. <laughs> Yuito? I'm curious about what Kagero said. Are you really feeling alright? Yeah, I'm fine. My power apparently won't go away too soon. So we just have to see what happens. Okay. Just don't push yourself too hard. Okay, into the church headquarters. We'll go a little bit the first save area and then we're going to stop because I 
you know what happens it's here. It's tough to keep gonna... this up with this many people. There's not much security inside, oh, just like we thought. All right, we'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Damn! Here they come, the Dogetsu design children. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to Babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it. Here we go. Babe, stairway to the one and only future. This is... the entrance to Babe. Good. It worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No. I appreciate the concern. But I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh? Others. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn. Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take them out. Yep, more party members you'll be able to use, and I had two. I had the one that allows me to do two. There's a, eventually a point where I can literally do four. For you, Kasane. around us this is bad I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the babe building you didn't know wait what do you mean toss do you mean they caught others and brought them here or maybe they know how to metamorphose like Suo Togetsu possesses the other particles they used them to make others this is the first time I've seen them used like this though the others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Kasane, we should check where we need to go again. Oh, wait, well, then why did you... F you know what? <clears throat> I don't know why it faced me that direction. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. So, hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate it. The next episode, we have a massive climb ahead of us that I don't know how I'm going to handle it because that was basically an episode entirely of me speeding through f doing all that fighting. And... Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, because it's a long climb to the end of Babe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is the best place to end it. So I hope you all enjoyed it, appreciate it. And, yeah, in the next episode, we'll infil infiltrate Togetsu all the way to Babe. So, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all. Or make sure to subscribe more, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.